for my bad graphic design segment. So as okay. always on Late Night with Cap, we do a we laugh at kind of funny design mistakes or it could just be odd. These are not really bad. They're just kind of like ridiculous and but they fit the time. So we're kind of going to go over those. So the first one here is um, Star Trek Voyage Home. This is number four. Uh, so they're, you know, this is the one where they go to save the whales in uh, right. San Francisco. Um, they had different versions of this poster, but for some reason they made this one as well. Um, it It's very interesting because <laughs> they are in a different time because they get chucked into the future. Uh, I, 1980, I think, or sorry, past. You're right. My bad. 1980 something. I don't remember the year, but, uh, uh, and at that time, you know, and always San Francisco was a little, uh, you know, on the flamboyant side, oh, uh, but I thought it was a little interesting bit. that they, <laughs> that she they have the, uh, a rainbow, rainbow bridge, bridge right behind yeah. them. <laughs> and Kirk's like, where am I? <laughs> like, why am I here? <laughs> Yeah, and almost from afar, it looks like Spock is under arrest with handcuffs. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Not sure why he's here. And then I like the uh, punk rocker kind of over here to the left. Right. He seems out of place, but he seems in place all right. the time. <laughs> and you've got the police officer back there. And visually, if you look up real close, I thought that was funny um, because 80s, 70s, you know, disco was kind of a big thing. It Almost no, looks like it, it says Disco Bank back there. Seen it. Transparent uh, aluminum. Uh, the right makes me think Star Trek Quest for the Pride Parade. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If this came out today, you would oh. that as well. So it's it, all good. Um, all these were real big on the slasher films. You know, James yeah, they were. They were scary movies. Um, well, does anyone anyone remember Return to Horror High? No. Um, and probably for good reason. <laughs> the reason why I thought this one was a kind of a ridiculous poster was, yeah, it's pretty generic with all the text, but um, that's a man hand. I'm sure this is a man in the photo because of the hand, <laughs> not not a a cheerleading lady. No skeleton. So they, she's not only does she have a skeleton face like one other famous villain from the eighties, uh, Skeletor. Uh, she also what? has man hands. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, I, I, I might be number horror high, but when I was little, I found my brother's copy of horror high on VHS. Oh, okay. R2. Thanks for I, that. Appreciate that. So R2. next movie, um, most of us remember this, especially if you were a kid, I really liked it. I still like it. Um, but they really wanted you to like this movie. Um, oh yeah. Came out. So this was Teen Wolf with Michael J. Fox, and it came out right around the same time as Back to the Future. But I don't know if it got a lot of good praise just as Back to the Future because this poster is just word, shilling. just shilling. Just They just threw him on the poster, put him on some hairy man, and then said, you must like this movie. It's way better. <laughs> Come watch it. Yeah, it's kind of... I mean, it's... it's Good to see the more things change, the more they've stayed stay the same. You watch any commercial for, like I said, the new, like just, just the new Thor film. It's you're, you're, you're like, did you guys watch the same film? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Awesome. It was horrible, but still loved it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I always still watch it, but I guess during this time, they really wanted you to watch it. Uh, Cause they didn't think it was roof like surfing. It. Yes. That in, and roof surfing that be, that became a thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. And some people of us were stupid. People were stupid back then. I won't, I won't then. get into it, but some of us <laughs> tried tried that. <laughs> so someone's speaking uh, from experience, then. Yes, yes. Don't <laughs> don't tell anybody. 